The monarch is one of the best known species of butterfly in the world. In Canada, it ranges from Alberta to Newfoundland, with extensive breeding in southern Ontario and southern Quebec, and there's even a small population of monarchs in southern British Columbia. These orange and black beauties, though, are one step closer to extinction. That's because the number of western monarch butterflies wintering along the California coast has just plummeted to a new record low. A recent count by the Xerces Society recorded fewer than 2,000 of them, a massive decline from the millions that used to cluster in the trees along the northern California coast in the 80s. The western monarch butterfly heads south from the Pacific Northwest to California each year, returning to the same places, even the same trees where they cluster to keep warm. Generally, they arrive at the beginning of November and spread out across the country once warmer weather arrives in March. Now on the east side of the Rockies, it's a different monarch population, but one that has also been seeing dramatic declines. Scientists estimate that that population has fallen about 80% since the 90s, but the drop-off in the West has been the steepest. The Xerces Society is a nonprofit environmental organization that focuses on the conservation of butterflies and bees. Last year, they recorded about 29,000 butterflies, about the same as the year before, 27,000, an all-time low. But to only see 2,000 of them this year is incredibly alarming. In fact, their absence was heartbreaking for volunteers hoping to catch a glimpse of the awe-inspiring clusters of monarch butterflies. Scientists say the critically low levels in western states mainly because of the destruction to their milkweed habitat. In terms of relationship to the plant, it's absolutely key to have these available to monarchs. No milkweed, no monarchs, it's that simple. The larvae absolutely require the milkweed to feed upon. Along with farming, climate change is one of the main drivers of their threatened extinction. One additional factor this year may have been the massive wildfires throughout the U.S. West that may have influenced their breeding and migration patterns. In December, U.S. federal officials declared the monarch butterfly a candidate for threatened or endangered status, but said it would take several years because of the many other species awaiting that designation. Until then, individuals can help. Scientists have identified the milkweed plant as the most important action humans can take to help support the threatened monarch population. By planting them, you're helping to fuel their migration on their path south. And now you're science smart. If you have a science question on your mind, send me a tweet and I'll try to get it answered.